All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy, alleluia. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, we gather on this final week of Easter time as we await the coming of the Holy Spirit promised to us by our Lord. As we gather before him, let us call to mind our sins, let us turn to Jesus and ask for his mercy. You were said to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church at Ephesus and said, Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, and which you attend the church of God, that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away from them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can, be, that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I, never, I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when Jesus, or rather when Paul had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that he would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Our response is, Alleluia. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, the kings bring you gifts. Alleluia. Your kingdoms, you kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient powers. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Alleluia. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Alleluia. St. John. Lifting his eyes up to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, that they may be one 
just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in the truth. The Gospel of the Lord. The themes for the readings for today seem to be about leaving, Paul leaving the priests to go to Jerusalem for his mission, and Jesus leaving the apostles to be ascended to the Father. And we would be left, they and we would be left alone, but the Holy Spirit will come. Now why? Why does Jesus promise us the Spirit? Well, on our own, we cannot fight the spirit of the world. We cannot fight on our own the lure of materialism on our own. We cannot fight the wave of the temptations that we battle every day. And Jesus himself, on the night of the Last Supper, in this very gospel, he said, without me, you can do nothing. That's a very sobering thought. And admittedly, that's a thought maybe we'd rather not have. But it is true, honestly. Without me, Jesus said, you can do nothing. What is our rock? What is our antidote for that? And the answer is to stay with the Lord, to stay with them, to build that relationship with Christ that is eternal. And so again, today, take that time, which is a gift in itself, to take that time each day to pray, the Spirit, indeed, is the helper. And, brothers and sisters, I ask you again, if you do not pray, start praying. Make a habit of it. Every day, five minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. In our spiritual battle. And seek always the Holy Spirit, who promises will lead us always to life, and the Spirit who is with us, who never leaves us alone. Now let us rise together. Let us offer these our prayers before the Lord for today. For a Holy Father and our bishops, may the Lord give them strength in their mission of being leaders and shepherds of, of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For our civic leaders, may the Lord give them strength and also health and also wisdom in their, rule of, in their role of governance over us, that they may judge with equity, with justice, with right, and with compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all of those who do not have jobs right now, for those who are underemployed, that they soon may find work so they'll be able to support themselves, and for those who depend upon them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who feel alone, for those who feel anxious, for those who feel depressed. May they know of God's comfort during this time, and also may know of the compassion of Jesus through the phone calls, the emails, the visits of friends and family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are battling illness, especially from COVID-19, may they know of the healing of Jesus Christ in their life, both in their body and in their spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all of those who have died and have gone before us in faith. May they find eternal rest in Jesus, who is the way and the truth and the life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the attention of this Mass for this morning and for all the prayers we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, 
We ask you to hear these prayers we bring before you and grant all that we truly need this day. And again, we also ask you the intercession of the great Prince of Angels and Guardian of all your people, St. Michael the Archangel, to protect us from all physical as well as supernatural evil. Let us again conclude as together we pray for his intercession as we pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you. Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. And now, sisters and brothers, let us rise together and pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord. Lord, accept, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands. And through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate as dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just as our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. After his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and he was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim together, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed. All that you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. 
that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving him thanks and the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again, giving you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward now to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us with yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with your glorious martyrs, with St. Augustine of Canterbury, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Donald, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you, and in your compassion, O most merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on all the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And again, the Savior's command is formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
who have not in our sins, but of the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And together, let us now pray, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. And since we're not able to be together for Holy Communion this morning physically, that together we can be with the Lord in active spiritual communion, we invite Jesus into our heart. And I just invite you, you can find that prayer for the active spiritual communion in our website, nativitymary.org. It's on our, also in our bulletin. And you can find it on the, anywhere on the internet. And if you don't know it, I just invite you again just to pray with us in spirit. So let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When the paraclete comes, whom I will send you, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us rise and pray. <coughs> May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, 
constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all this day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life.